Susie, listen to me, okay? This is your conscience calling. Now listen closely. Don't do it, all right? Just don't. No, Susie, that, that is your brother's favorite toy. No, no, don't, 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 don't flush it. Great. You can give me a lifetime on Earth. Well, of course, I can't control what you do with it. But I imagine you'll go straight down there and sweep that delicate young flower off her feet. Okay. All right, well, then what would this cost me? We'll talk about that when you've made up your mind. <laughs> yeah, except I can read the fine print, and it says you want my soul. Needs me, but I can't. 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 Please, Rebecca. I know that you're mad at me for closing down the shop while Kevin tests the candles, but I didn't know what else to do. I want to make things right for the both of us, but I'm not. I'm not really sure how to do that. Please come out and talk to me. Okay, because I I just feel so alone and I don't know what to do anymore. Please. Please come out and talk to me. Jamal. Hey. Jamal. Wake up, man. Yo. Jack, what's going on? No, you tell me. You've been out for a while. I've been trying to wake you up. You all right? Oh. Oh. Oh, something's wrong here, man. But Where's Ellie? She wasn't here when I got here. She missed a bell when you fell asleep. What's oh, going is, on here? This is not me sleep, man. This is more like me drugged or something. Oh. That. What? A candle? I wasn't here last night. She, God, she drugged me with that thing, no, Jack. All right, calm down, all right? Al's the one who drugged you. No, I never would have thought so either, but she hasn't exactly been acting herself lately, now has she? Wait, hey, hold on, hold on one second. Where are you going? What do you think? Somebody's got to stop all this before something really bad goes down. Libby, I saw your car in the driveway. I know you're home. What are you doing out there? Uh, you know, something crazy, I'm sure. Uh, so is this how it's going to be? You made the choice, Jack. You chose sweet, innocent Allison over crazy, paranoid Libby. Okay. I came to apologize. What? I was wrong. I was wrong about a lot of things. And 
You had every right to be upset. But Livy, there is something strange about those candles. Okay, Jamal tried to talk to Allison the other night, and one of those candles basically knocked him out for hours. And that camera, there is definitely something strange going on with that camera. Why? Did something else happen? Uh, you saw Rebecca again, didn't you? Well, like, I don't know if it's an optical illusion or it's some trick or what. But yeah, she disappeared again. Okay, well, what happened before she disappeared? Right, let's, let's sit down. I went to the, uh, I went to the barn the other night when no one was there. And I took some pictures. And when I developed them, Rebecca was standing outside the candle shop. Except it was Rebecca's from over half a century ago. Oh, my God. So now you know what I'm talking about. But there's more I want to find out. Yeah, like what? Well, you know, those old plates. I'm basically out of them, the ones that came with the camera. So I ordered some from this antique camera website. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that when I get these, that maybe, maybe that'll explain all this. And if Rebecca still shows up in the pictures, then you'll know it's serious. Oh, no, I do know it's serious. So is that what you came over to tell me? I came over to tell you I'm sorry for calling you crazy. And you had every right to feel the way you feel. And it's basically tripping me out, too. I don't think there's anything worse you could have said to me. Hey, sweetie, I know. And I'm sorry. I just don't want us to fight anymore. I miss you so much. And I want you to come home with me. I don't want to be apart from you. No matter what's going on, we have to be together. You want to tell me what you did with Allison? Because whoever you are, you're not the Allison I know. Well, you kidnapped me. So that makes it okay for you to drug me with some crazy no, candle? No, I didn't drug you. What? Is that I why didn't... I put a Sleeping Beauty on all night long without being able to wake up? Well, I just happened to light a candle so that you could relax a little bit. A little bit. Relax a little bit. Allison, I was out all night long. Well, the candles only enhance what you're already feeling. Uh, you, you have no idea what you're dealing with here, Allison. That is you not don't. true. Yes, I do. And pretty soon, everyone else will find out that there's nothing wrong with my candles or with what I'm doing. What are you, what are you talking about? Kevin came by earlier to get some candles, and he's going to have them analyzed. And do you want to know what he's going to find? Nothing. Well, you know what? Silcho. Maybe there's some things in there that you don't know about. No, that's impossible. OK, I've already started making oh my the gosh. candles myself. And I told you. There is nothing dangerous about my candles or Rebecca's candles. I've already told you that, and you won't Allison. listen to me. None of you will. The only thing that maybe you're going to find in there is maybe uh, some baby's breath or some dragon's blood or angel's blood. Actually, actually, she doesn't sound like a witch. You know that? Well, what's the matter with magic? I've had magic in my life, and it's wonderful. What? And now what I have a about? gift. You... I have a gift, and I can open up people's hearts. She showed me how Allie, to use it. On. Rebecca told me that I have a gift. So you were serious. You think that she talks to you. You think that lady in that picture talks back to you. Okay. Kills not to be with Allison. Kills. To know that she's hurting. And I would do anything to be with her. Anything to make her feel better. Anything. No, no. Almost anything. Almost anything. That, that, that's your soul, Rafe. You can't give him that. But Allison is my soul. My wife. <laughs> God, I love the sound of that. Mm. So do I. 
choices could go on forever. No, no, it's exactly what you meant, and it's the second time that you said it. Allison, you, you think that she talks back to you? You wouldn't understand, Jamal. It's just... Hey, try me. Come on. I can't. Allison, look, we were... We were together for a long time. Okay, I loved you more than anything in the world. I still love you. And I know there's a part of you that still cares for me, too. Okay, so... Come on. Look at it from my point of view. All right, if I was in a barn making candles, talking to a picture, and hearing her talk back to me, come on, what would you do? Jamal, sometimes you just need to trust people and trust what is in your heart. Well, my heart is telling me is that you're in trouble right now. You're pushing away everybody that cares about you, and you're cutting yourself off in the real world. I'm yes. not hurting yes, anyone. Yes, you are. You're hurting yourself, Allie. Rafe is gone, and he's not coming back. Losing yourself in some fantasy world is not going to change that. That's not what I'm doing. That's exactly what you're doing, Allison. Look, why don't you just get rid of all this stuff? All right, just, just give it up, okay? Starting with that picture over there. Jamal, there was once a time when you would have just believed in me. I don't, I don't, I don't know what to do. Maybe if you can't believe in me, then maybe there's nothing for you to do except leave. You can't live like this. What are you going to do? Are you going to kidnap me again? that you, you think that me closing down the shop was wrong, but, but what if what we're doing isn't right? What if it would be better for us and for everyone else if we just stopped? Would it just be better if, if we got rid of everything? Do you really want to get rid of everything, Allison? Do you really want to get rid of me? I thought that you were never going to talk to me ever again. I didn't think you wanted to hear what I had to say. You once told me that the world in this century was different from when I lived. That the people, your people, were more open, more accepting. If you destroy all this, if you destroy me, and all you'll have proved is that the world hasn't changed at all. Olivia, I missed you so much. Oh, Chuck, I missed you too. And now that I know you're on my side, we can make this right together. Yeah. For everyone. And I want to help Allison too. Yes, and the best way to do that is to stop all this. Hey, what are... Allison's candles doing here? Oh, my dad's sending them off to the lab to have them checked in. I'm sure he'll find the proof we need to end all this. Yeah. You know, I just, I just can't imagine Allison putting something dangerous in these candles. You know, I was thinking that maybe uh. I could take your, we could take your advice and forget about the candles for at least one night and home. Yeah, 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 and concentrate on each other. How's that sound? Oh, that sounds good to me. Yeah? I like that. All right, well, I'm going to pack, and I'll be gone Mwah, for two seconds. Okay. Two. Two. I'll be right back. Hmm. Warmth. 
interesting. I think this is probably the one Lucy had. Uh, here we go. Oh. Uh, what the heck? It can't be too harmful. Let's try this baby out. All right. Let me feel the warmth. Ah. <laughs> that does make you feel kind of warm. strength to fight this. I am so tempted to trade my soul to be with Allison again. I'm so worried about what's going to happen to her. Please. Please just give me the strength. Please give me the strength. But Rebecca, the world has changed and things are different. My friends, they're not they're not trying to hurt me. They're just really worried about me. And I think that maybe they're right. I mean, what if I am using you and these candles to make up for what I feel in my heart, the loss of Rafe? And what's wrong with that? Do you really believe that you should let go of people you love as your friends are asking you to? Oh, Allison. Because I believe that you should take joy in the love that you had and let it continue to enrich your life. You learned to open your heart more than you ever believed possible with Rafe. You always had that gift, but he made you realize it. And now you can do that for other people. I, I want to do the right thing. I just, I don't know, I don't know what to do. I'm just I'm so confused. It's because you're doubting yourself listening to what everyone else tells you, believing everything except that which you feel. But I still hurt you, Allison. I heard you defend me. I heard you defending what we're trying to do here for other people. Why can't you hear yourself anymore? I want to bring love alive in my heart again, and I, I want to bring it to others. It's just that blessing and a burden, I know. People fight it. You fight it. Because love is work. And it can be so painful. But now you're doubting yourself. And listening to other people. And now your blessing has become a burden. And so you're letting it go. Where are you going? I'm saying goodbye, my sweet. No longer believing means no longer believing in me. We won't be speaking anymore. What will happen to you? Where will you go? I'll go back to where I came from. And I'll hope that someday people will know what my life was all about. And I'll finally be able to rest in peace. I just, I, I want to do the right thing. I do. I just, I don't know what that is, and I don't know if what we're doing is the right way to do it. What does your heart tell you? It, it tells me that what we're doing is good. And that, that, that we don't need to stop this. Then stand your ground and fight the fight that I couldn't. Okay. I can. I. I'll do that. I will. I'll, I'll do that, Rebecca. Just, just stay, okay? Just stay. I, I, I won't. I won't disappoint you. I promise. I won't. Get 
Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. Superstition. Port Charles. You think this candle's making you crazy, Frank? Wow. Let's see if you're right. What is what, what happened to him? Don't want to wait till the weekend to see all of this week's Port Charles episodes? Catch same-day episodes weekdays at 4.30 p.m. and again at 11.30. Log on to SoapNet.com for your complete SoapNet schedule. SoapNet. Soap watching made easy.